Howdy y'all, I'm around the wheel, you're watching the Neo Linux introduction pack, and yeah, it's been some days since the last installment, but if you know that I live in Texas, and you haven't been living under a rock news-wise, then you can probably surmise a lot of the reason for that absence, just to let everyone know, I'm fine, I never had any significant power loss, and I never even had reduced water pressure or frozen pipes even once, uh, so I made it out looking pretty sparkly. I weathered the weather just fine, and now I'm here to advance to the higher levels of wisdom. 20 lemmings, we gotta save them all. I see two exits here. One of them's got the fun little solar system mobile around it, the other doesn't. Is that significant? We're going from bottom to top, it looks like. What's the deal here? You've already learned about canceling bashers and miners with walkers to step up. Uh-huh. I, I did that in the, I think, first level of advanced... Uh, apply that lesson. You can use this to your advantage and assign skills like platformers at this elevated position. Sure. This will allow things like platforming up zigzag miner tunnels if the miners were canceled mid-stroke before platforming up zigzag miner tunnels. Platformers can also allow you to create zigzag Fencer tunnels? Okay, I think I kind of understand what it means. Can you do it as well? Let's see if I can indeed. We've got, okay, we've got 11. Okay, we've got 11 walkers, 11 platformers, six bashers, three. Okay, so let's see. It looks like the little arrows and the fleurs de lis are going up. Okay, so I think. I think I understand what it means. Maybe. Okay, so I'm going to try to... Let's see. How how far up can I get here? Let's see. Okay, so we're going to go... Will it go higher up if we get somewhat back? Now nah, it's going to pretty much go like that regardless. Okay, so I think what... I think what he's saying is if we get in that little elevated spot okay so if we cancel when do we want to cancel okay about right here and then move over to here but then he's gonna hit his head it well, no that's the basher never mind is this gonna create yeah it looks like we could do this okay yeah get in that little cancel -y spot okay and then uh go from the left here oh nope gotta gotta take it a little farther than that but okay can't can't go from the backmost pixel but okay all right that looks that looks nice okay nice ish i guess okay so we want to do the same thing here maybe back it up a frame so all right, and then platform across the gap here. Okay, and if we do this right, we should be able to... Okay, no, that didn't quite cover the gap. That's gonna that's gonna be a problem, so we need to bring this back some. Okay, we need to ensure that... Okay, they're kind of in the way. It's a little hard to see what's happening here. I'm going to let him clink on the steel and see if it works out to our advantage. Okay, we just have to make sure to fill in the gap all the way. But there's no real spot that lets us do that. So yeah, we got to we got to take it from the back end here. Okay. Where is the best place to do this? I'm going to say it's from about right here, maybe. And if we do the same... No, that that just creates another... There's no elevated spot there. Okay, it's much easier to do this from the right than it is from the left. Okay. Okay, let's try it now. I guess I'm just going to have to keep at it until I get it right. Okay, yeah, now I'm in an elevated spot here, and I think I see, I think I see a way through. Okay, uh, that might not still be do- Oh, no, we can get up there now. Okay, so 
Yeah, if we can get up there, then I'll take it. This is a little hard to... This is a little hard to finagle here. Uh, okay, but... Alright, same deal, I guess. Okay. Alright, we want to now mine. And now we're going to have to do the same thing with bashers. To get up here. I think we can take either exit from this point. Nine platformers. We're going to have to bash in this little nook right here to walk up here, platform across, bash up, bash up. Yeah. Okay. I think I've got it. Okay. Now it's just now it's just about getting these guys out of here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wait till I'm at the top of the I'm going to wait till I'm at the top of the pops here. There we go. And I'll probably want to do this from the leftermost end. So I'm going to go ahead and start platforming over here. And we should be able to get out from here plenty fine. Okay, so now now we're just going to mine our way in. All right. Okay, and then Okay, doing this downward is going to be a bit of a tricky bit of a tricky business but I think what we want to do is still have some let's see let's I think we still want to have some all right you stop you stop doing that okay so yeah so that we want to get down in here then and go this way with this and have these little elevated spots where we can just platform across. Okay, yeah, I think that's how they want it done. If I do it right... Okay, no, back it up. Back it up just a touch. There we go. Alright, so that when they come in here... Alright, uh, can they... Ooh, can they get out of there? What? Uh, I'm not even sure that they can step up from that. I may, I may need to come from a little farther back to do this, but, or I may be, or I may be pulling up too early here. I don't think they can walk out of that. No, they, yeah, they can't get out of there. That just gets them stuck. But yeah, you need this little, you need this little bit right here. Okay, I'm going to try to make it as late as I possibly can. No, stop. No, no replay time for you. Stop it. Okay. So, yeah, let's chop, let's chop right there. That's a little closer to the wall. That lets us come from a little farther back doing this. There we go. That's exactly what we want. Now, it could have been that I just came from too far forward this way. That's entirely, that's entirely possible. But I think I want to get as close to the wall as I can without having... A, there we go. Alright, so now from here, how far down can we get? Oh, yes. Okay, that's much better. Okay, so that gets them down in there. And then we start... Now we just start building over to these things. There we go. Okay, so that gives us six platformers. And now we just handle the rest by bashing. Okay, I've got it. Wow, that is not easy to do. But as long as you try your best, right? So... And it looks like our best is going to do it. We can, we can either go to the Lemon Cuckoo Clock over here. I think we're going to go to the Solar System module here. Okay, so now, let's see. we got to get really close. Okay, that might have been a little too iffy. Okay, so now we, now we walk up there. Okay, and that lets us... Okay, that already gets us over there. So I think five I think five bashers can reasonably do this, right? Five bashers, six walkers, I think we Oh no, I ended up shutting them in. Oops. Well we don't want to do that. Okay, let's go one more then. One more bit of Okay. So yeah, that should that should sort that out then. Yeah, you go from over there. Okay, yeah, now they're now they're walking the plank. Good, 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 good. Man, this level takes a lot of little bitty 
little bitty work. Okay, so now we can now we can just do like normal, and then we just boop, do like we did in the last couple of levels. Uh, one bop over. Okay, and then we just go up until we need to go left. We only have two more bashers for height. Okay. I think, yeah, one more ought to do it. So let's go ahead and... Nope, just, just the one, just the one little bit there. There we go. Okay, and then, yeah, we have the height we need to platform right here. And then we just, yeah, bash across and win. There we go. Bash to here. Man, that is, that's a little funky. But we did it. We did what the level asked of us, and we even had a little bit left over. A little bit of margin for error. Okay, so that one that one is not hard to do, but the execution has to be just absolutely perfect. And I am... That makes me really worried about what later levels are going to have in store for us. Yeah, we did it, but at what cost? At what cost to our souls? Let's move on and see if it makes us do any more shenanigans like that walking over dead bodies oh boy uh we got some some statuesque freedom planet ladies here 40 lemmings must save 36 i imagine stoners are going to be involved if we are talking about walking over dead bodies the stoner can be used in combination with the stacker to gain height more effectively if a lemming turns at a wall quickly start stacking and after around five stacker bricks assign the stoner skill to him Man, people have figured out just about everything you could do with every possible combination of living assignments. It is really, really impressive. Also, he'll create a nice ramp, yeah. Also, if you stack close to a stoner on flat ground so that the bricks are only being placed under the arm of the stoner... He will stop re after reaching the arm and the limbings will be able to go over to the stoner from this side... This is precise, but you can do it. Okay, if you stack close to a stoner on flat ground, so that the bricks are only being placed under the arm, so like he'll they'll like run up under his armpit and then quit, and you have another kind of ramp. Okay, let's see what happens then. Let's see what we've got here. We've got we've got the we've got the mill is falling out of the hatch here with the nice brown background. The brown background is uh, I like this one. Okay, so. What then have we got? We've got a we've got what appears to be some kind of trap right here. It's an infinity trap, it sure is. So how do we get four one two one, two, three, four. So we're gonna have to keep everybody in somehow. We're gonna have to keep everybody uh ensorcelled in this little spot. So how does this work then with the... Okay, so... Okay, yeah, you keep one guy in with a stoner. And then, okay, here's here's where stoner number three goes. Okay, so three of them are going to be used to go here. So we have... Alright, let's, let's try this. Okay, so... Oh, wait, so what we want to do, I think, here is have the stoner at the beginning. Okay. Where it's going to be, like, really precise. Okay, and then, yeah, right up under the armpit. Just, like, nestled right there. Very good. Okay, so there's that. Oh, but then only a few get up. So I have to be really... I have to be quick draw McGraw with the... Oh, but it didn't even get under the arm, I don't think. Okay, yeah, so go ahead and go. Alright. Alright, so how, how cozy do you have to get here to make this happen? Oh, there it goes. Okay, yeah, it's like nestled literally right under the arm. Okay, so what next? What next indeed? We're going to want somebody to walk up the way here 
So yeah, they can all kind of get up there. Yeah, we're going to pretty much do that the whole way across, it looks like. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and do that again. And then you go ahead and do this. Alright, so... Oh, no, that was too close, actually. Alright, so... Okay, yeah, so you can do it again. And then we're going to have to do the same thing pretty much up top right here. Okay, I think we're going to want to make this one the stoner because this one is going to get past him. So that kind of keeps everybody in line. Yeah, perfect. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, so now let us, let us build to the exit as we should. Okay, I think we're going to want to stretch these out because isn't he going to need to... No, he won't need to turn around, I don't think. So, let's see. Yeah, just get up to there, and then it should be fine. Alright, this is gonna get... This is gonna, little, gonna get a little complicatey. Maybe I should have backed this up more, but I think we have a nice little... I think we have a nice little gap type of thing going here. So, here's our two... Here's our two bridges to the exit. Yeah. And then... Okay, how much, okay, how are we going to really, okay, we're going to do the same thing here, obviously, but we need some people to back up off of it, so I need basically the last lemming in line to do the, to do the stacking here, I think, and what is that going to look like, it's going to look like, it looks like this one. Okay, so you're going to... You're going to go right there. Okay, so yeah. So he's going to handle that. Or maybe number two is going to handle that. Alright. Okay, so yeah. Oh, oops. I let that one walk down into the thing. Okay, so I need to back this up to a very precise point. Okay, where are we where are we at here? I need one lemming to go up over at the end here. One, two, three. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and have number this one here do the do the stacking. Okay, that's probably a little too that's probably a little too close for comfort. So maybe number two ought to do it. But, okay, am I getting my, is there something I'm doing where I'm, like, missing the efficiency of the timing? I don't quite understand where my failure is occurring here. So there's a pretty big gap between this limbing and, okay. Alright, so, ugh, god, I'm gonna have to... I'm going to be looking back and forth to make sure I'm doing this right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, I think I want you right there. Okay, yeah. Either way, they're not spaced out well enough for me to do this. So maybe what I want... Maybe I just want to get these touching a little closer. Okay. Okay. Maybe I just... Okay, maybe I just want it so that... Okay, yeah. I'm just going to get it so that these are touching anyway. So, a little bit of lipping over the edge here. But it's not going to allow that. Did I get as far out as I could here? Two. Okay, I might need to, I might need to get just as literally as far out as I can. To make sure... Okay, yeah, that just barely touches... That just barely touches in a way where if somebody turns around, he's still going to drop through the bit there. And I'm going to lose one, two, three, four. I can only lose my stoners. You sure I can't go any... You sure I can't go any farther? Stretch this any farther here? I would sure appreciate that. But they're situated only just so. So that someone can't just turn around. 
I don't like that. I hate it a lot. Uh, okay. Maybe if I had it... Mm, no, I wouldn't want to do it from, like, right here. I wouldn't want to put the stoner right here and then just walk up onto him and do it. Because then I'd hit my head. But, man, I sure wish I had some, like, some more distance there. Really sucks how closely my... Really sucks how closely my guys are spaced together. This place, I can see it being a little easier to do what I want. To get the... To get the turnaround. Okay. And then he goes there. Yeah, see, that lips perfectly. Where I have the problem is here. I think if somebody comes around here... I just want to test that real quick, actually. I want to see if, if somebody just turns around... So he's going to go over to here, and he's going to fall through. If somebody gets through, yeah, see, that's it for that. That's that's just no bueno. So, so let's go ahead and... Oh, God, okay. I really don't like this, but I'm going to go ahead and stone right here, and hopefully... I can make it. Looks like the last of them just turned around. So I have two stackers here. Okay, so how much of a gap can I get? Okay, so they're coming through this way. They're gapped out pretty far in between right here and here. Um... Let's see about, let's see about this. I think I'm just going to have to get, not lucky per se, with my spacing. So it's like, so it's like the one right before. Okay, so, yeah, they're too close together, I think. So if I skip to the front end here, and... Yeah, so they're going to get up there, and then nobody else is going to get up there. That's not going to work. So, if they get close to get in the comfy bit there. Okay, so they're going to go up. And then, yeah, he's going to turn around. That doesn't work. I have to be able to... Yeah, that will, that will kill too many lemmings. That was a cool animation. But... I feel like I got I feel like I got screwed on the builder end somehow. Ideally you should be able to just uh Okay, pause. We don't want to end the level on this negative note. Ideally you should just be able to build, stretch, build, have it lip over the edge there. But I'm stretched out as far as I can get. So there's some kind of timing thing I'm not seeing. And I'm going to have to step away for a second to see what that is, what I'm doing wrong here. Okay, I think I simply just am not using what I learned. Okay, so we want to do the thing. Now, now is when we want to do the backwards ramp, I think. So now we're going to wait for him to hit, turn around right here, start stacking. One, two, three, four, five, and then boom. Okay, yes, that's what that little backwards bit is about. Okay, so now the timing doesn't matter. I just have to get the precision in. There we go. And now and now they all walk to the exit. Okay. I was just forgetting what I was taught. Or ignoring it. I see. I see what a foolish fool I've been. But now they're all going to walk happily. They're, they're going to... You have your freedom, Lemmings. Congratulations on reaching the freedom planet. Good, good going. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, Skip that over to the end. I probably complicated that one more than I should have, but it's kind of hard to figure out if you don't know, like, kind of what these levels are driving at sometimes. Like, what they're trying to tell you to do. You just kind of have to... It's like the words click. Like, they don't make sense as you're reading them, and you're just like, uh-huh, uh-huh, I get it, but and really you don't. Uh, but then while you're doing it, it's like, oh, that's what you mean by that. Okay. And then you put it into place and it's easy peasy, women squeezy. 
really, 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 really pushing the definition there of easy when you know how.